What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Malik's Water Garden. We are going to be releasing a zebra pleco breeding video shortly, so stay tuned for that and subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification icon so you get updated when that video as well as many videos like this get uploaded. These are all going to be preliminary videos leading up to the zebra pleco breeding videos, which I believe are going to be useful when the zebra pleco breeding video comes about because these videos are going to be showing the, the background that you need. The video that just got released, which is the feeding video of your zebra plecos, highly recommend checking that out so you get an understanding of how to feed your zebra plecos to get them to, into optimal condition to be triggering spawning. And now in today's video, we're going to be looking at what type of breeding tools that can be used uh, what type of tools I personally like using to breed my zebra plecos. There are a lot of different breeding tools that are available in the market, but these are the ones that I personally like to use, that I actively use in my fish room to breed all my high pancestors and Pecoltia species, and uh, also my Ryan Loricaria. So these tools are actually what I use to breed all my plecos, and uh, they come quite handy, and, I, and uh, none of these products have been paid, uh, are paid advertisements. I paid my own money and bought these, and a lot of these products are not even available here in Canada, so it's really hard to source. So the manu if the manufacturer is watching these and uh, they would like to send me a product, I could start uh, promoting your products for you. So send me some uh, emails and uh, we will get that going. I also would like to get more product for a better price if I can, instead of buying it for uh, overpriced from uh, secondhand retailers. So I really would like these manufacturers to get back to me. So the first product we're going to be looking at, I believe is uh, one of the best uh, products that I have in my fish room for this particular purpose. This is a cyst egg tumbler, not a paid advertisement, but I really like this product. I bought this a few weeks ago and I haven't opened it yet because I didn't have a need for it yet, but I do have a, a one tumbler in use right now. So we are going to open it and look at it really quickly. And uh, so this is again, I guess an unboxing as well as a uh, uh, talking about the products. So uh, this is a pretty straightforward product and uh, I will put some b-roll footage of the eggs that are in the tumbler right now so you can see how they work. And uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward. You put the eggs in there and you put the water. This piece attaches to the top here and the airline goes in. There's uh, suction cups that attach to your glass inside your tank. So this goes into the tank and uh, you just pump water out through the top and uh, it flows water through the sponge into the machine and it works perfect. I love this, this little device. And uh, this is probably my, my most favorite egg, egg tumbler. There are so many others available in the market. Sis has not given me any money. I have not even contacted Sis yet. This is one of the products that's really hard to get for me here in Canada, but I really believe in this product. So that's why I'm talking about it. And uh, so if you guys do want to buy this, uh, I will try to get an Amazon affiliate link and I will put that on the bottom so you can buy it from an Amazon affiliate link. So I can make maybe let's say two cents every time you buy one of these. So you might buy one, let's say once, and I, make, I might make a couple of cents. So I will put my Amazon affiliate link once that is up. So stay tuned for that and uh, buy stuff from my Amazon store if you can and want to help me out that way. Uh, again, not an advertisement. It's just uh, what I'm doing right now. So I'm just going to talk about it. I guess that is an advertisement in that sense. Is it an advertisement? I don't know. You guys tell me. Is it an advertisement? We'll figure it out. Uh, this does not close back properly. I don't know why, but uh, I don't care. I already opened it. I'm going to use it in a couple of days. And the next thing we're going to look at is actually uh, something that I've had in the fish room for a while, but I actually have a need for it now. And uh, this is why I actually started making this video. And uh, this is probably my most favorite uh, breeding tool for high ancestor zebra. And uh, this is the German breeder rings. So I bought this from uh, angelfence.ca. Uh, I'm not going to put a link to that website right now just because you guys know where what company it is and uh, you guys already buy a product from them and uh, they do send me free stuff every once in a while but it's not a paid advertisement they haven't sent me anything free like the last time I bought fish food they sent me one bag of free, free fish food and uh, since then they haven't really sent me anything so I don't really think uh, <laughs> I'm advertising them right now but I do buy this product from them so and I'm struggling with the tape use a knife don't be Malik don't be stupid like this see right now I'm like dying trying to open this okay there we go all right, I didn't die. Didn't break my hand, but it did kind of hurt because I did twist it a little bit. I love this product here. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward product. It's a plastic ring, has a mesh screen on the bottom. Uh, pretty stable, pretty sturdy. I've had the one in the tank that you'll see uh, running for about a year now. And uh, this guy I've had in storage for about a few months. I bought it in the beginning of the year thinking that my fish would start spawning quite faster than what they did. But everybody had been a little bit slower than uh, I expected. And these guys, I didn't need to pull out any eggs. 
I didn't need to pull out eggs on the 471s for the most part. The 199s are doing their own thing in their own tank. So I didn't actually have the need for a lot of these. I do have a few of these in stock just in case. And I do have a few of them running in the fish room as well. I just want to open and show you guys how it looks like because pulling out a one from the tank, it's going to be quite messy. And uh, I do have fry in the ones that I have in the tank, but I will put some B-roll footage. Uh, it does work quite simply. This is a lift tube and you, you know, it's a sponge filter essentially, you know, fits in like that right there. There it is. Not a paid advertisement. I would like to get these stuff from uh, directly from the manufacturer. So if uh, Ebo or Aquaristic Shop is watching and uh, want to contact me back and uh, let me buy some product from you directly, I would highly appreciate that. But uh, it's a pretty straightforward product. And uh, so water, air goes in here, right there. You see that right there? And then water pumps through here, comes out the little hole, fills the reservoir. Uh, this floats, so it sits on the water column and doesn't really and that's one of the reasons why I like this product over the some of the other products I'm going to talk about in a second I'm going to talk about one more product actually it's only three things I actually like to use uh, these are my three favorite things and these are the only three things I like using to breed high pants as a zebra so uh, the thing I like about it is as the water levels if I'm doing water change and I forget that the fry ring is there I don't have to worry about it too much because I can reduce the water level and this thing just floats down there's no fry just being stuck and this thing, you know, being coming out of water and all that stuff, unless you try to do like a 90% or 100% water change, which I don't recommend doing on a, on a breeding tank anyway. So it works well for that purpose and I really enjoy that. And also there's a lot of biofilm that grows in here. And I feel like uh, as long as I leave these in the parent tanks, I can take out the fry and the eggs faster and I have a better success rate. I have a lot more success rate in these particular rings as opposed to the marina breeder boxes that hang on the side breeder boxes i do use those quite a bit too but uh they're not my favorite tool for this particular purpose now having said that aside from that it's pretty straightforward device it works quite well you want to keep the bottom screen clear from like debris and stuff because it can get clogged up and then uh, water can overflow but there is an overflow valve right there or like a spot for the water to overflow if it does get too much and uh, it works really well. I like this product quite a bit and I enjoy using this quite a bit. And I'm actually going to use this particular one right now because I have a new set of eggs that are coming out and I don't have a breeder ring. That's why I actually opened this today. And uh, that's why you guys are actually getting this video right now. Okay. Now the next product we're going to be looking at is, uh, let me just take this apart so it doesn't break on me. Oh, it didn't break. <laughs> Imagine this is $55. If I broke it, that would suck. There we go. And just put it down that way so it doesn't break. There we go. The next thing we're going to look at is uh, this guy right here. This is the Sis Breeder Box. Uh, I actually have the BLM2, which is this one right here. I like the BLM2 better. I have both the BLM3 and the BLM2. I have a lot more BLM3s. Initially, I bought like a bunch of these because I didn't actually test it out myself. And uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm making this video because if you were breeding high pancastra zebras, you don't want to be using this particular breeder box or this particular breeder box. This has a flat bottom and the fish can actually sit on the bottom and uh, you can actually feed and biofilm will grow on the bottom itself and it's more beneficial for the fish. It also has two ledges. So you can see here, uh, this has a screen on the bottom so the water flows completely through. So if I were to do a water change while this is sitting on the side of the tank and I forgot that there's fry in the breeder box and I didn't move the breeder box down and the water level went below the breeder box, the fry will essentially dry out within a few minutes or whatever before I start filling it back up. And uh, so you have to be really careful using this particular breeder box. I haven't actually had any issues with this in that regard because I am very careful. I have OCD. but. Uh, an average person that might be neglectful or whatever has a lot going on in their mind I mean even with me like there's times I'm in here doing stuff and I forget right so you really want to be careful and pay attention to if you do have these in the tank do not bring the water level past the you know whatever amount now these guys on the other hand the BLM3 uh, uh, the BL3 or whatever they're called they are great because or two because they only have the two side screens and they have a flat bottom, they don't have the bottom screen. So what happens is as the water level goes past this, 
there's always about a half inch of water left in the breeder box, which I believe uh, has a, a very good uh, benefit because then your fry can just sit in there and you can fill the tank back up within a few minutes and the fry are not gonna dry out or suffer in that time that the tank is uh, draining. And you can accidentally drain the tank without too much of a worry that your fry are not gonna dry out in, in a case where you forget that there's a breeder box sitting in the tank or whatever. So that's a really big pop plus of the, the BL2 compared to the BL3. Uh, but they are great. Uh, either one works really well. Uh, there is a BL1, I believe, but uh, it doesn't really... I haven't tried it, so I can't really say anything about it. But uh, for the purpose of breeding zebra plecos, I would stick to the BL2. Uh, and uh, so go from there. Now the other one thing I'm gonna say is I do have some marina breeder boxes. There's one up here, there's some fry. You probably see the fry swimming into the corner. It's actually a really nice L340, it's really white. I'm gonna get some video of that guy, he's really pretty. Anyways, uh, so I use the marina breeder boxes for that purpose. I use them for fry and also for Ryan Loricaria, L0108 Red Lizard Catfish. I do use the marina breeder boxes but for zebra plecos and for hype ancestors. I personally don't like to use the marina breeder boxes unless they are large fry like an inch long or whatever and I'm just putting them in there as a holding tank on the outside the main tank. So that's the only time I like to use the marina breeder boxes. I mean I have used them for egg tumbling as all types of other stuff when I don't have access to one of these or you know before I got these at the beginning of the year when I didn't have uh, the cysts. Uh, breeder egg tumblers. I only had these. I've used these to tumble eggs and they work But not as good as this uh, and uh, so that's what I'm gonna leave you guys with so all these things have their own uh, Particular purpose and they all work well for that purpose. So really pay attention to that and uh, Some of these work better than other products available in the market uh, for the same Particular use so that's why I made the video and these are the ones I personally like to use This is not a paid advertisement, but uh, I do like to get these uh, products uh, sponsorships from these products if the manufacturers are watching so contact me if you are a manufacturer of any of these products because these products are what I believe in and this is our products I can actually stand behind that's the only thing I'm gonna say in my channel I'm gonna be standing behind products that I believe in that I use so if you are gonna see me talking about a product it's the product I actually use and if I am gonna be eventually selling that product it's only because I believe in the product so not, I'm not selling any of these right now but I would like to get some of these available through my Amazon affiliate account and whatnot when the manufacturers do eventually contact me and whatever. So that's something that's coming up in the future. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe down below and hit that notification icon so you get updated when new videos like this as well as many other related content gets uploaded. The channel's growing really fast and uh, we're doing really well. We're at almost 1,150 subscribers right now and uh, the goal is to hit 1,500 subscribers by the end of September. Or faster so you guys can make that happen so hit that goal for me and I want to hit 2,500 subscribers by the end of this year so I think we can do that and you guys can make that happen 55% of you have not subscribed yet, so subscribe if you haven't and hit the notification icon so you get updated when these seven videos as well as many other videos like this get uploaded as always thank you so much I love you all I'll see you in the next video God bless you